Hello and welcome to my channel Learning Web Methods. In continuation of my previous video, today we are going to see how to create a flow service. So let's begin. Start your designer and make sure integration server is up and running. Before creating a flow service, we must create a package and a folder. So let's create a package first. Right click on default and then create a package. Let's say package name is test package. And now we have to create a folder. Right click on test package create a folder folder name would be the test package so the this would be our root folder so we must keep a package name and a folder name same because the package name is not a part of fully qualified name of the service finish it create one more folder called services finish it now we'll create our first flow service let's say add service click on next now here you can see the two option empty flow and receive an XML document so right now we are not receiving any document from anywhere so we'll create a and create an empty flow so finish it here you can see the property pane and palette and the main working area and here are few tabs like tree layout input output log field and comment let's start creating our ad service so adding a two number we need input and output here you can see in palette all the variables supported by web method so click on string and drag it here let's say num1 again drag it another variable let's say num2 and in output pane sum so these we have created now three variables num1 num2 and sum now go to tree and drag map step so map is used to link add edit and delete the pipeline variables and it is also used to manipulate the pipeline variables by invoking custom services or built-in services by using transformers we will be invoking built-in service to add these two variables so to do so right click and then add transformer and then we have to select pubmath add integer this is the built-in service provided by WM public package. Now we have to link variables. Click on variables, service variable and pipeline variable and click on this link. And the same way we have to do for other variables. Now save the service. Now your add service is, add flow service is completed. Now to test this service, right click and then run as run flow service. Put values there, let's say four, five and click on OK. Here in result tab, you can see our sum is nine. Now we have to test our service from browser. So to do so, right click, run as run in browser. Say OK. Here the inputs are, let's say six and five and click OK. Here you can see the result is 11. Now copy this link and go to your browser and paste it. It will prompt it for username and password. The password would be the same administrator and manage and then sign in. Here you can see the same result. In this video, we have got an idea of how do we create a flow service and run it from a designer and browser. In the next video, we will discuss flow steps in web methods. If you have any queries or comments, please do let me know in the comment section. And if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for your time.